through this door live in outer dimension. One of beeps, one of boops. The reality where 8-bit and HD clash. This is the point where new retro meet. The sixth and a half dimension, protected by the arcade overlord. You have crossed into the turbo zone. Missile Command for the Atari 2600 could have had a whole lot of names. But I think if I had to rename the game, I would call this game Panic Attack. Because that's what I feel like I'm going to have while playing Missile Command. I always forget, going into Missile Command, it's such a classic game that I, d I don't know why every time, er every fucking time, I, I, I forget that by the end of my play session, I am so stressed out. Missile Command on the Atari 2600 is obviously based off of the arcade title of the same name, where you command missiles, and you have to stop other missiles from hitting your uh, bases or cities or whatever they're supposed to be here your shapes. Um, so yeah, you launch your missiles up, they hit the other missiles, and there you go. That's it. That's the the gist of the game. Uh, now, what, what it boils down to is by the end of the game, there'll be so much shit trying to rain down on your, uh, on your stuff that it just becomes utter chaos, and you, you try so hard to keep up, and it's just not happening. <laughs> Uh, so that's what I'm talking about. Like, I, I get so stressed out by the end of this game that I... But it's, it's weird, though, because, like, my, my next time I pop it into play, I totally forget that that, that that happens. And I'm just like, yeah, Missile Command's fun. And uh, I, I don't know what, what element of the game does that to me, but it, it certainly happens. I actually really enjoy this version more than the arcade version because the arcade version gives you like three different outposts to shoot missiles from um, and that becomes I don't know why I just don't I think it's better in this version because you only get the one outpost in the middle to shoot the missiles from um, things are a little simpler I have a lot less to keep up with which means that the game's a lot more fun um, there is some strategy here, definitely. Uh, whenever you shoot your little missiles, they go off and the explosion hits, hits the other missiles, so you kind of got to time it and make sure your explosion goes off uh, relatively early um, so that it'll spread and hit uh, more than one missile because you have a limited supply of missiles that you can use. Uh, so there, there is some strategy here. This is actually for a 2600 game. Uh, and, you know, a port of, of an arcade game, there's actually quite a bit of strategy here. Missile Command on the Atari 2600 is a classic. It's one of those games like Yars Revenge that if you own a 2600 and you don't have this in your game library, what are you doing? Because it is up there as one of the uh, console staples. I mean, I alone own like three copies of this game. Like, you you can find it everywhere for pretty cheap and it's it's highly recommended. I mean, even though y you, by the end of it, you might be at a fucking, you know, you might have a fucking stroke, but um, y there for a while, the game's actually pretty fun. I mean, Missile Command is a good time. It's just, uh, it's just, eh, it's just, uh, I don't know. Maybe I need to see a therapist. Uh, missile Command. Hey, geeks and gamers. TurboBot90013 here. Remember to subscribe to the Turbo Zone for more content. The Arcade Overlord, thank you. Stay retro. Turbo Zone. <laughs>